Good morning and welcome to another Tuesday's Tech Tip. My name is Darren Horsley. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager and today I'd like to talk to you about calculating your RPMs and your feed rate using a macro that's embedded into your NC program. First I'd like to start by showing you the program on the control. Typically when you calculate your RPMs and feed rates, you're going to use your CAM software or you're going to use a calculator or you're going to use a spreadsheet that, that, that you have. The advantages of using this macro inside of the NC program is you're going to be able to change your speed and feeds on the fly. For example, if you're trying to develop better or develop tool life testing or improve part quality or achieve a faster cycle time, you might invite the tool vendor in and they're going to stand beside you or behind you and say, hey, uh, why don't you try this speed and feed? Well, without this macro, you would have to get your calculator back out, go back to your CAM software, repost the program, and then put it back on the control. The way we have it set up here is you can just change your surface feet per minute on this line. Here's your chip load. Here's your cutter diameter. Here's the number of cutting edges. And with those four variables, it's going to calculate the RPMs and put on macro 501. It's going to calculate your feed rate and put on 502. What that looks like in your CNC code is now instead of having a hard-coded RPMs, you're going to have S pound 501 and S pound 502. And when you run the CNC program, it'll use these variables and these short little uh, formulas to figure out what that's RPM and feed rate is going to look like. So I'm going to run the program first and kind of show you guys how that's working. You're going to see as I run this program, it's going to populate our feed and our speed. I'm going to single block it so we can kind of watch this go through. It's already going through the tool change. So now it's picking up those variables. And 501 and 502 already have the feed rate and RPMs calculated. As you can see, there's your feed rate, there's your RPMs. I want to jump over to the macro screen real quick and show you in 501 and 502, there is the RPMs and there's your feed rate. And as we go through this, I want to point out what you can do with this. As I'm entering in the cut, I actually say go ahead and divide the RPMs by two and divide the feed rate by three. That way, if I want to get into the cut a little bit softer, I can. You'll, saw, you'll see that the feed rate and the RPMs dropped when it got to that line of code. Now when I'm ready to actually start spiraling down, I go back to full RPMs and full feed rate. You'll see that they jumped up. I'm going to take it off a single block and let it finish the program. So there you go. There's a quick, easy way to build a calculator into your NC program that gets you a lot of flexibility for chasing tool life, part quality, cycle time improvements. Thanks for joining us today and visit us on Facebook if you'd like for us to cover a particular topic. Thanks and have a great day.